have immobilized the yeast, we're going to now test its use. So we're going to pour, Oshin, half of this sucral solution into the separating funnel. Thank you very much. Half of it into the separating funnel that contains the immobilized yeast. And then the other half is going to be poured into the separating funnel, good lad, that contains the free yeast. Excellent. Now, which of these two enzyme solutions do we expect will convert the sucrose to glucose more quickly? The free yeast or the immobilized yeast? Um, Isabella, which one will convert it more quickly to the to um, glucose? Good girl, excellent. So if the free yeast converts the sucrose to glucose more quickly, how come we're going to use immobilized yeast? What's the advantage of using immobilized yeast? Um, Ellen, what's the advantage of using the immobilized yeast? So we know that it does it more quickly and also that what, what about our product Benedict? It's more pure. It's more pure. And Dara, what about our enzyme? With the immobilized yeast, what can we do with the enzyme? It can be reused. It can be reused. Excellent. Now, we're just going to um, test some of this immobilized yeast now. So the liquid that comes out the bottom here, we're going to test it using little glucose test strips here, clean yeast sticks. So Isabella, if you could just test that, please, the solution. Good, we'll turn it off. And then every two minutes, we're going to test the solution in both the free yeast and the immobilized yeast. And we expect that the test strip should turn purple. And the more quickly it turns to purple, the more quickly it's converting the sucrose to glucose. Excellent, well done, everyone, very, very good. <laughs>